walls are building blocks of life when cells break into two. They replicate their DNA, they clone themselves, they do. Prokaryotes are simple, pro means came before. They're one cell with a little tail bacteria, not more. Eukaryotes are more complex in animals and plants. They function with their organelles, thus proving they're advanced. Organelles are tiny organs right there in the cell. They help to make it functional. They do their job so well. Cell membranes barricade, but certain things come in. Cell walls even stronger cause cell membranes are so thin. The nucleus, it's like a brain, controls the DNA. The nucleolus is inside where ribosomes are made. Ribosomes make proteins, and proteins, they are tough. When ribosomes attach, the ER becomes rough. The ER is a membrane that transports molecules. A superhighway full of folds that leads to vesicles. The vesicles push them out when proteins reach completion. The Golgi apparatus packs them for secretion. The lysosome collects the trash, the cells garbage and waste. Enzymes break it down so much it's practically erased. The large central vacuole holds the H2O. That's what vacuoles are for, they're storage sacks, you know. The mitochondrion produces ATP. That's why it's the powerhouse known for energy. Has a metabolic breakdown known as respiration. CO2 is then released, caused by oxidation. The cytoplasm is known as the cell's fluidic space. It's where the organelles reside in gel. They stay in place. In plant cells, there are chloroplasts. They're always colored green. Photosynthesis makes a sweet glucose cuisine. Plants, they also have cell walls for structure and great strength. We need magnification to see their height and length.